Just head over to Garmin's website and download the Verb Edit software. In Strava, you just get your GPX file. This will be used for the data overlay. Okay, just go new, item, color map. Pick the frame rate and pick OK. Just pick a green color. Now drag that image down to the timeline and drag it out to a time length that you want. Most of my rides are 30 minutes, so I picked that. Now we'll export it. Export. Create a new video. Now we import the clip and find that green video we just exported. Drag that down to the timeline. Go to the G metrics and import the Strava data. I'll use this log. Now you can pick a template that are uh, already provided by Garmin. Or we can get more from the internet. There isn't many. You can click on them and then download them. Now the gauges. You can also download more, but there's a ton here already. And simply just drag and drop onto the screen. There's also graphs for your cadence, speed, and a period so you can change the three primary colors for these gauges or graphs. Now export the clip. Pick your desired resolution, frame rate, and quality. This method's a lot faster exporting than doing a dedicated video. Now in Premiere Pro, import that green screen clip with the metrics overlaid onto it. I'm just breaking the music and the actual video footage I rode with. So that's, that's the green screen. That's the actual riding footage. I'm just going to put the green screen above that. Now what I need to do is get rid of that green so it's just a transparent layer. So go to the effects tab and search for ultra key. Drag and drop that onto the green frame. And then up the top you have an effects control. Click the little eyedropper and then tag the green. And now it's gone. Okay, now you notice there's a black bar. I'm assuming I haven't done my resolutions right in the original one. So you just need to expand the scale a little bit to get rid of that blackness. Now all I'm going to do is synchronize where those metrics lie on the video. So I'm just going to get this base of this hill. That should be a zero gradient. And when I go up the hill, it should start to be a plus, like plus three, four. So I found the base of the hill. Okay, it's zero there, five, six, 12. That's about right. Now we've just got to do a bit of adjustment to the video footage with curves. Just make it look a bit darker and brighter. So you just go a little bit above and a little bit below. Just makes the highs a bit higher and the darks a bit darker. Bit of pop. Now I'm going to do warp stabilization because the GoPro footage is pretty shaky. So you just drag and drop and you just wait for 20 minutes. Done. So it looks a bit stable. Select the track, copy it. I'm going to paste three versions of it because we're going to do different things with each one. Now, select the track, go up the top to video effects, then under opacity. There's a little box, little like rectangle. Just click that and bring us a little box on the screen. And anything inside of it is visible. Anything outside of it is invisible on that layer. So I'm just going to have the speed and cadence of that one. Now I'm on the second video track. I've disabled the visibility of the two. And I bring that box up again. I'm just going to have the gradient on that one. And then a third one, toggle the visibility. And this one, I'm going to make another box and just have the map. 
What this allows me to do is to now independently move those elements around the screen. And one of the big things I've found is with the gradient, it lags behind when I'm riding. So I've got steep hills, it's like, oh, you're on a flat road. It's like, I'm up a 10% gradient hill, so it lags behind. So I found what you can do is actually get the gradient, mask it, and put it back a little bit, a couple of seconds, and then it synchronizes. The speed and cadence are accurate with the GPS, and I'm not sure why the elevation is not accurate. I'm assuming it uses the the data on the GPS. I'm not sure. Because there's built-in maps to Garmin devices. Maybe that's inaccurate. So all I'm doing now is just rearranging and showing you can move those elements around the screen. So if you didn't get it perfectly well in Garmin Verb, you have the opportunity to move those elements around on the screen in Premiere Pro. Hopefully this video helped you out a bit. Thanks for watching. Click on the left to see more of my bike videos and click on the right to see more of my gaming videos.